For the last five years, we've been working on an exhibition at the Fitzwilliam Museum, Treasured Possessions from the Renaissance to the Enlightenment. It shows more than 200 objects, many of which are in the museum's collection, but which have never or only rarely been displayed. Treasured Possessions looks at the Renaissance as a period when objects first fully came into many people's lives. They aspired to acquire them, there were many more shops, they were produced across a broad spectrum of value. So the question we want to ask really is how we need to re-describe this period in terms of people's relationship with objects. It seems that what's so interesting about that is that it can often generate fascination and fear. The pleasure in objects can turn into a fear. Do we consume them or do they seem to consummate us with our desires? So we need to join together the material culture of this period with questions that arise from the history of emotions. What kind of values, what kind of emotions could be expressed about objects at the time? What was sentimentalized? What gave notions of a fascinating body that were then conveyed to others? This is a big new approach that we want to really show in this, um, uh, in this exhibition. The idea of holding an exhibition at the Fitzwilliam grew out of an undergraduate class that we were teaching on the material culture of early modern Europe. And the students and we were amazingly lucky to be able to collaborate with the curators at the museum who let us come in and handle objects. Obviously the experience and the expertise of curators is rather different from that of historians, but we've been able to work together in order to shed new light on old objects. When I first came to Cambridge, I would take students around the Fitzwilliam and we would walk around looking at paintings, but also look at the ceramic galleries. And it was always really difficult to get the students interested in the ceramic galleries. There are literally rows and rows of porcelain figures, Meissen figures, for instance. And it's very hard to get across to students what these figures could possibly have meant in people's lives. So one of the great advantages of the handling session was literally to go behind the cases and to be able to feel, touch, and see how the light hits these objects. As material culture historians, we now think that we can only really get at this extraordinary fascination with objects in this period if we look closely at them. So if we don't look at them by type, but if we understand how they were produced, what materials went into making them, and really that fascination with ingenious crafting, with doing something totally original, doing something very, very small, uh, that we can decipher, as it were, only uh, through that contact with the object. And that's what I would like uh, visitors, as it were, to relive. For us, the greatest pleasure was as curators to go uh, into the stacks to discover um, these objects that are often not displayed and we want to relive um, that with visitors in dialogue with them uh, look carefully just at how extraordinary these objects are made. The Fitzwilliam Museum in Cambridge is particularly lucky in having Glacier's collection. Glacier was a mathematician, James Glacier was a mathematician at Trinity, and he was uh, a collector and gave all of his collection of ceramics to the museum. It is one of the best collections of ceramics in Britain today. And that has really been the core, particularly of my interest in the Fitzwilliam collection. He was very interested in collecting things that were named and dated and had meaning in people's lives, truly treasured possessions for those who own them and also for him as well. And we are very lucky in the Fitzwilliam that we also have all of his notebooks and a handwritten catalogue of all the objects that he collected, often with stories telling about where he bought them and how much he paid for them and what they might have meant in someone's family's life. And this year we've got a student who's actually doing an undergraduate dissertation based on those notebook collections and based on the uh, Glacier collection. One of my favorite objects in the exhibition is a pair of 18th century shoes that are silk embroidered and come from London and belong to a woman who we can actually trace. And they conjure up a whole world of fashionable walking where it mattered so much with whom you were seen and you enjoyed the squares of the rebuilt London. And this, um, this pair of shoes was only shown to us after a few times when um, people in the museum gathered that we were interested 
interested in, in objects of that kind. They're not usually associated with the Fitzwilliam Museum because there are no other shoes in that collection. And yet now here they are, they fascinate everyone and they're up on the posters around Cambridge advertising the exhibition.